So we are given that x is equal to t, y is equal to t squared, and we're looking for t between 0 and 2. All right, so we want, first thing we want to do is find the area swept out by this curve. The formula for that is 1 half of the integral from t1 to t2 of the absolute value of the derivative of x of t times y of t minus the derivative of y of t times x of t, all of that dt. All right, so let's set up our integral. So we have 1 half. And t starts at 0 and goes to 2, so it goes from 0 to 2. We have the absolute value of the derivative of x with respect to t. x of t is 1. So 1 times t squared minus the derivative of t squared is 2t times t. Close that absolute value, dt. So that's equal to 1 half times the integral from 0 to 2 of t squared minus 2t squared, which is equal to the absolute value of negative t squared dt times 1 half. And that is all equal to 0 to 2 of just t squared dt. Okay? So now let's solve that. This becomes t squared becomes t cubed over 3 times 1 half from 0 to 2. Okay? So that's become, I'm just going to pull out that 3 and make it 1 sixth. And then we have, so really we just have t cubed. From, I don't know why I wrote it like that, but okay. 0 to 2. So 2 cubed is 8 minus 0 cubed is 0. So it's 8 sixths or 4 thirds. Okay. okay, so that's the first part. Now we want to get rid of these parameters and find some equation in terms of only y and x. Well, as you can see, x is equal to t and y is t squared. If we square x and t, so you end up with x squared equals t squared, that's equal to y. So our equation is just y equals x squared. Okay. So draw that here. Looks sort of like this. Okay. All right. So now we want to show where the area is swept out. So let's say that this is 1, 1, 1, and 2, and then 3, 4. Okay. Okay, so when, I'll write this in green. So when t equals 0, x equals 0, and y equals 0. So that's right here. Okay. So then when, uh, right over here, when x equals 1, y equals 1. That's sort of like this. I have And then when x equals 2, y equals 2 squared is 4. So that's all the way over here. And that goes like this. So so this area shaded in green is the area swept in. So as you can see, 
T is going this way, so our curve is moving in this direction. Yes. Okay. Here you go.